Okay, so for this anatomy video, we're going to do uh, an overview of the cranial nerves. Uh, we'll go into each of the 12, the 12 sets of cranial nerves. There's a right and a left for each one. So we'll go over those in individual videos. Uh, I'll go into where they come off the brain stem, um, their exit, uh, olfactory nerve leaves through the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. We'll tie all that together in 12 individual videos. Uh, this will be your cranial nerve overview. Okay. So there are 12 cranial nerves, or 12 sets of cranial nerves. There's a right and a left, and uh, there's a few things you need to know about them. You need to know whether they carry sensory information into the nervous system, motor information out from the central nervous system, or if they're a mixture, uh, they carry both sensory and motor. You'll also want to know which ones carry parasympathetic uh, fibers. We'll get that one out of the way right now. Parasympathetic fibers are going to be 3, 7, 9, and 10, okay? So that's going to equal your, uh, the circle will be your parasympathetics. Okay? Parasympathetics. The next trick uh, to remember is to uh, lay the 12 out. The ones that are circled that carry your parasympathetic fibers, 3, 7, 9, and 10. The next little trick is to um, go next to your numbers and do this. Some say marry money, but my brother says Big butts matter most. Okay? Sexist? Sure. But it's the easiest way to remember it. Uh, you can separate out big brains, uh, big boobs, whatever you want. Uh, I've heard all kinds of them. But lay that out, and that's going to remind you that some of them are sensory, some of them are motor, and some carry both, uh, sensory and motor fibers. All right, so once you've got that quick little trick out of the way, So the first one is the olfactory nerve. The olfactory nerve is sensory. It's going to be the sense of uh, smell, okay? Sense of smell. Number two is your optic nerve. We got a couple of videos where we mentioned the optic nerve already. That's going to be vision. It comes from the back of your eyeball. Number three is the oculomotor nerve. Oculomotor nerve does a few things. One, it's got parasympathetic fiber. Um, it's also responsible for your pupillary um, light reflexes, that's the motor part, and uh, the movement of three of the six, sorry, four of the six extraocular muscles. Um, four is the trochlear nerve. The trochlear nerve is going to handle one extraocular muscle. This is going to be the superior oblique uh, muscle that moves your eye. I'm just going to put a one here to remind you there's one and the oculomotor plus pupil, uh, is the one that moves most of the eyes, um, three of the recti and the inferior oblique. Trochlear nerve just does superior oblique. Five is going to be your trigeminal nerve. Right? The trigeminal nerve uh, is both, so it has both sensory and motor. Uh, your motor is going to be the muscles of mastication. Mastication... Um, <laughs> with a T. That means chewing, the muscles of chewing. Uh, don't mix that up. Muscles of mastication and then uh, sensory from your face and head. Okay. So, um, I mean, touching these three zones, the, um, um, the uh, ophthalmic zone, the uh, maxillary, and the mandibular zone. So the trigeminal, it divides your face into kind of three areas of sensation and it powers the muscles you chew with. Six is the abducens. The abducens is going to be one extraocular muscle. It's just that lateral rectus muscle that helps abduct the eyes. Seven is the facial nerve. You notice that it carries a parasympathetic uh, innervation, but the facial nerve is also mixed, and its motor is going to be uh, facial expression. Muscles of facial expression. So all the, the faces you make... Uh, Puff your cheeks up, crunch your eyes, the surprise faces. Uh, these are all motor um, muscles of facial expression powered by the facial nerve. And its sensory is the anterior um, two-thirds of your tongue. Okay, so when you um, bite the tip of your tongue, that's the facial. Okay. Also carries taste, and, uh, taste as well from the anterior two-thirds of your tongue. Eight is the vestibulocochlear. Right? This is going to be uh, two senses, actually. So I'll put a little S squared there. Sometimes I do that to remind myself. The uh, vestibulo apparatus, the uh, vestibule, 
with a little structure in your inner ear that has the utricle saccule and the three semicircular canals for linear acceleration, uh, movement and gravity, and then orthogonal movement. And then the cochlear nerve, uh, cochlear portion of the cranial nerve 8, which carries auditory information in. 9 is the glossopharyngeal. Glossopharyngeal nerve, uh, both, is going to be uh, the motor muscles that, uh, that come out to kind of help you swallow. Sort of raises the back of your throat, some of the pharyngeal muscles to help you swallow. And its sensation is going to be, also in that area, the anterior third of, uh, sorry, posterior third of your tongue. Okay. Posterior third of your tongue. Uh, glosso, tongue, pharyngeal, meaning throat. Uh, also going to carry some parasympathetic fibers. Ten is the vagus nerve. This one's pretty complex. It's the, the longest cranial nerve. It's probably the, one of the, the longest nerves you have. It's very complex. It's got... Um, um, sensation from all of your thoracic and abdominal viscera. It's got motor down into the throat, uh, the voice box down to um, like your heart. It'll help take the signal down from brainstem to speed your heart up or slow your heart down. Um, lots of things going on with the vagus nerve. Um, so named because like a vagabond, it wanders all over. We'll talk about some of its main branches like the uh, um, superior laryngeal and recurrent laryngeal nerves and the pharyngeals in a specific video with the vagus nerve. Parasympathetic fibers, think mostly um, viscera. Right. Uh, number 11, that's going to be your spinal accessory. Spinal accessory nerve is a motor only nerve. It's going to help you move your traps, your trapezius, and mainly your SCM, sternocleidomastoid muscle. So it's going to move my head around, help me shrug my shoulders, spinal accessory. And then 12 is the hypoglossal. Glossal, again, being tongue, uh, like glossopharyngeal, under the tongue, hypoglossal. These are the muscles that are going to move around your, uh, move your tongue around. Right? So when we get into cranial nerve assessment, we'll be able to whip through these, but this is a quick way to remember. Remember the names and their functions which ones are sensory, which ones are motor only, which ones contain both sensory and motor, and 3, 7, 9, and 10, which ones contain parasympathetic fibers. And this is a good place to get started. Um, so like the video, and then look forward to, when I find some time, to knock out the 12 uh, more detailed cranial nerves. Some of them will be as quick as 10, 12 minutes. Some of them might take, uh, man, like vagus nerve, some of them might take upwards of 25 minutes or so to get through them. So... Look for those soon.